Hey everyone, today I'm doing a user requested video. Actually, a couple of different people have requested to see what I watch these DVDs on. This isn't necessarily like a DVD update or my favorite DVDs, but I'm going to title it my DVD cl um, collection, what I watch my DVDs on, because I think they fit together because without the TV and the DVD players, you couldn't watch the DVDs. So I guess these pretty well go together. And since people have asked to see this, I thought I'd do that so people could see. And if those of you could do videos if you have you know if you have a camera could show what you watch your DVDs on I don't think there's been too many videos on YouTube showing this but I, I really never checked so I'm gonna show now what I watch them on well first I thought I'd show you all the remotes that I have to deal with look at all those and you may think that's it no there's even more look at all those remotes I know people would say you should get a universal remote but I don't think a universal remote could handle all this well, the TV is a Sony Bravia 1080i, I believe, HD TV. I don't remember the name or make of it because I didn't really pay too much attention. But this is the act, the TV that I use. Under the TV is a Wiener, you know, a Wii, a region-free DVD player, which I use to watch DVDs from England, Europe, and anywhere else that are not American discs. I have the HD DVD player, which is a HD A2 A2 I believe you can get this now at Walmart for like $99 then I have the DVD recorder and um, which I use to tape things I want and to copy certain videos I do to a DVD to put them on the internet in an easier way and then I have the cable box which is the digital Comcast one that has DVR built in then I still have a VCR I know not many people have them but I have so many VHS is still so that I've kept from old kid shows and v movies of things I've made in the past that I just keep on VHS because I feel like I'm probably going to always have a VCR in my life because it's one classic item it's nice to have it and then I have the PS3 which I got about a month or two ago mainly bought it just to play Blu-ray discs discs since it's about a hundred and something dollars cheaper than most Blu-ray players this player was about um I think 340 something like that and it's blu-ray if I had to pick between blu-ray and HD it's really difficult because they're essentially exactly the same picture only one company blu-ray carries some movies and HD doesn't carry some but when you have the HD TV it's nice to be able to watch the highest quality versions of things and then as for surround sound I don't use this much because it gets so damn loud and it shakes the whole house. I have the Sony HT HDW 790, and I have speakers. Um, that's just on top of. That's an old subwoofer thing that I just put it on top of. That's the subwoofer. That's one speaker. The other one. The other one. And there's one back here. Right here. The other one's over here. I sort of just rigged the speakers up because I didn't feel like having them like professionally put in I just sort of put them in cheaply myself the ones that my parents have the same thing and they have them the wires all run properly because they bought all that extra wires it took hours to like restring the extra wires to reach the whole room so you could wrap the cords all around so you didn't see them but I don't really worry about all that kind of stuff so I'm fine with it like that I also have this little tiny TV which I use to play older video games. This thing is out of inputs and it's not really fun to play old like Nintendo games on a big TV. I was always big on playing them on small TVs for some reason. And I guess I'll just show you I have the FC Twin which I think, I don't know if it's, legal, if it's even legal anymore, but it's basically an, a system that they made that plays Nintendo and Super Nintendo in the same system and it was only about thirty dollars and I have the Nintendo 64 still and the Sega Genesis which I've had since 1991 and it actually still works and here's a far back view and here's the couch I'm always on when I do the video blogs talking about the DVDs so I hope this video showed those of you who were interested in seeing this what you wanted to see and showed you what I watched them on what things are underneath the TV, what things I use to play the discs, and stuff like that. So thanks for watching, and thanks to all the people who subscribed 
to my videos because of the DVD videos. Thanks a lot and be on the lookout for more DVD updates and DVD favorite videos in the future. Thanks for watching.